power supply, what will be powering this whole machine. So, you take, oh, you also need to know which, how much power you need. This is a 600 watt EVGA 80 plus bronze. It's a 600 watt bead. So you take the 24 pin power supply. Now you'll see there's a four and then a 20. Yes, you can just slide that right on there. And then it goes right here. Yes, push down and wait for it to snap like that. And that'll be powering the motherboard. But if you don't want to burn out your motherboard, you have to use a CPU power. Additional power for the CPU. This is a eight pin. This may be separated. Then, yes, um, these ones don't really have the slide ones. You just have to push them in. So, you just plug them in like this and wait for the snap. So, and now your CPU is powered. Now powering the SSD, you need a SATA connector. If you take one of these cables, um, then you plug it in. It doesn't matter which SATA thing, but so it would be like over there, I'm plugging in the last one. So you plug it in. If it, go, if it doesn't fit, just switch it to the other one. There we go. And now your SSD is powered. There are different kinds of power supplies. There's modular power supplies and non-modular power supplies. This power supply is non-modular. That means all the cables run from one port and all the way out. This is the cheaper kind. The more expensive and better at cable management, if you see that they're all tangled, is a modular and there, it comes with cables, but it's not plugged in already. There's slots, and then you just plug them in, and the ones you don't need, you just don't have them there. When you need it, you just plug it in. There are two ways to power on a motherboard. One way is, this is just a minor power on switch, because it's not gonna be in a fancy, let's say, case. Okay, it's a minor, a minor. So you take your power supply to, well, not power supply, a power starter. Look for the arrow. There's gonna be an arrow on one, one of these pins, the, an arrow above the metal piece. You put that arrow into the plus sign in the spot. So the arrow goes in the plus. There, like that. And then you just push this button here. The other way to do it is you take this out, take a any Phillips screwdriver, and then you tap the this part of the screwdriver onto the two prongs, and that will start it. There's pins that are not colored. These are the colored one, but there's ones that it doesn't have this casing and no color. What you're pushing, if you see right here, there's indicators of what you're plugging in. You're looking for the, the plus, PW, and minus. That's power switch. Then you plug in the positive to the positive. Like that. Now you turn on the power supply, which which gives power to the motherboard. And then this is the first one, I'm trying to short it. Now you have to have your motor running, and we don't know if this motor works. Um, let's put it right there. Oh, do not put your hand. Warning: Don't do not put your hands in fans. They're spinning. Is on your motherboard. 
you will find a long slot. If your motherboard does not have it, which is, well, usually the motherboards do have it, yes. Put, put this in. We'll first lower this latch to open it. And then push down once it's lined up. You will hear a snap, which is the closing of the latch. That's for safety reasons. Now, this is only for some GPUs. Mostly some, but well, mostly all of them have. Some don't. Yeah, your power supply, you must make sure that you have the correct power supply for choosing a GPU. For this GPU, you have to take a six pin. Now, you cannot you cannot mix the CPU power with, and plug that into here. That will not act as the same thing as this will act. So you just plug it in. This is for additional power that needs because you can't get all the power it needs out of the motherboard. This GPU can do more than just displaying output. It can mine. It can play games. This can play Grand Theft Auto if you want, like high quality without any frame style. Is about 10 times more powerful than the CPU under here. If you look at the back, this board, if really this, this whole piece of junk is a cooler. This card back here is the GPU. Right here is the space where the core is the main part of the GPU. And inside is the core. But below this cooler is the core, RAM and VRAM and other things. It, it can play games, it can, it can mine. It, it has so much power than, so much more power than the CPU. When you install a GPU, you cannot use the existing motherboard ports. Now you only can use the GPU unless if you do if you configure it in the BIOS, which is the little chip is the BIOS, you can configure it, which is this GPU cannot display, but it can do it to other things and you can use the motherboard ports. So this adapter is plugged into here. Because if you're using VGA, you can't plugged in. But with the GPU, you, you only can display out here. You can't use the motherboard display, but if you configure it in the BIOS, you could turn off its display, but it, it'll still do its normal like uh, stuff it would usually do, but just it would display out here. So let's take the VGA there. Okay. Let's start it. Oops. Okay, now that has a fan, which is supposed to be spinning. spinning. Oh, no, look. Look at that. It's working. In those steps, you, you now have a computer. It's running fine. There's no issues. And... If you want to watch YouTube videos, you can. If you want to play games, you can. The three mistakes I had when building a computer, my first computer, this isn't my first computer, but my first computer, the first mistake was the power starter. I just kept being annoyed because I had the power switch like over here or something like that, like that, that is not correct. I spent an hour trying to figure out why it was and then the second I put in the red, start it, it worked. Second, RAM, on my first computer also, the RAM, I just had like four gigabytes laying around, but I noticed it wouldn't go in because it was DDR3 and my motherboard was DDR4. My, my third and last mistake was the CPU. 
I had a few CPUs which I like guy and actually worked but I didn't know if all the CPUs were the same and one day I had a Dell computer laying around and we had a Celeron laying around so we tried to put it in well I tried to put it in I kept like pushing it down it wouldn't go in like I think I bent to a few pins and um right on it it said LGA 1151 and my motherboard LGA 1155 <laughs> 